Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to control cars in Rocket League using a programming language called Scratch. To get started, go to rlbot.org and click on the Scratch section, and all the instructions are right down here. The first thing we're going to do is install Python. Python is a programming language, but we're not going to use it directly. We just need it to uh, help this whole thing work. Make sure you add Python 3.6 to path, and then install. And our next step is to download this repository, and what I mean by that is click here and download the zip. And we're going to show in folder and extract this zip file, which opens up this. And we can close this folder, we don't need it anymore. Now double check that Python finished installing, and it did. So we'll move on to the next step which says open Rocket League. Um, Rocket League is a game you can buy on Steam if you don't have it already. We'll open that up and then next it says run.bat which is a file inside this folder that we extracted earlier. Oops. And it's talking about this one right here. So now that Rocket League is open we can go ahead and double click this and it will do some work installing things and then eventually it should start a match inside Rocket League itself. And then the last step is to visit scratch.rlbot.org which is a special website that will open up the Scratch programming language and it will talk to the game once everything is set up correctly. So this is still doing work. Activated. We got a few red messages, but that's fine. And now it's counting down till the start of the match. And once it starts up, we should expect this little yellow icon to turn green, which will mean it's successfully connected. And there it goes. And now you can see four different cars in the game called Scratchbot. Um, four different colors, and you can see that it matches up perfectly with this overlay. Uh, which shows the positions of the cars in the game. When we click this green flag, the Scratch language will start running and it'll start controlling the cars. And you can see them moving every once in a while. If we zoom into the game, we can watch the cars move. To change the behavior of the car, we will look at this, uh, make sure we have player one selected, the green one so we can control the behavior of the green car. And if we want it to, instead of starting and stopping, just drive forward all the time, we can get rid of these blocks and just tell it, hey, just set throttle to one all the time. And it starts driving off straight up the wall. If we want it to go backwards, we could set throttle to negative one. And it'll go backwards right away. And you can change the other cars too. They all have unique, um, or they can have unique programs once you start changing them. So let's say uh, for player two, I'm going to go watch player two. I'll get rid of all the logic, and instead I'm going to make it start jumping a lot. So I'll set jump to check, and it jumps. But now it's holding down jump forever, so if we wanted to jump over and over, we have to wait for a second and then unjump, or in other words, release the jump button. And then we will wait again. And now it just jumps forever. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. It's a lot of fun and you can get started learning programming. And if you ever feel like you're uh, going past the boundaries of what Scratch can do, then come back to rlbot.org and see what other languages we have to offer. You can also come into our Discord and chat with people to uh, get help with programming and just enjoy our community. I uh, hope you like it. I have a lot of fun with it and I think you will too.